between Simeon Varlamov and Marc-Andre Fleury. Second shootout this season for the Islanders. They lost one in Nashville at the end of October. Ilya Sorokin playing in that game. Marc-Andre Fleury is 2-0 this season in shootouts. The only two shootouts the Blackhawks have had this year. Islanders elect to shoot first, and they elect to put Oliver Wallstrom onto the ice to shoot. He did shoot in Nashville. He did not score. He is 0 for 1 this season. Oliver Wallstrom, the right-handed shot off the pad of Fleury. No surprise that he goes for the shot. He has such a good release. Even if you know it's coming, he puts himself coming across on his forehand. Forehand tries to go low glove side, and Flurry tracks it the whole way. Frustration there from Wallstrom. This is the fourth shootout all time between the Islanders and Blackhawks. Chicago's won the previous three. Jonathan Taves has had the game deciding goal in all three of those. Taves to the back. Showing some patience. He outweighed Jonathan Taves here. Jonathan Taves looks like he's going to shoot here. And he pulls back to his back end. He had some, he had daylight there. He probably had about six or eight inches. Just wasn't able to find it. Matt Barzell next up for New York. Saved by Flurry as Barzell went to the back end. Quick moves by Matt Barzell, no surprise. He's quick with his feet, he's quick with his hands. Comes in on his uh, uh, forehand side here. Looks like he's gonna shoot it, pulls to his backhand in a quick succession. Tries to go upstairs, he does elevate it, just not quite enough. Good play by Flurry. One of the deepest bag of tricks in the NHL, Patrick Kane in on Varlamov, and he scores. With speed, lulled them to sleep, and then pulled the trigger over the glove. I mean, it's just, it's unreal when you watch this guy. What It makes it look so easy. Comes in with speed, slows up, and what that does, that throws the, the goalie off of his gap control. He comes out and tries to max, uh, match him coming in, and then Kane up and over the gloves. It's all on Anthony Beauvillier here. Has to score, or Chicago wins. Beauvillier against Marc-Andre Fleury. Saved by Fleury. And the Islanders fail to score in the shootout, and they fall 3-2 to Chicago. Frustrating night. I, I, the Islanders, they showed a lot of good, and we keep saying that, and it's becoming, it's tougher and tougher to say that when you're just trying to build on the little things. They, they do have three uh, points in the last three games. They have uh, some, a power play success tonight with J.G. Pajot. They've got, they had more urgency. There were some longer stretches of this game where they were showing that grit and everything else that we're looking for, and here's Anthony Bovillier's last attempt coming in and been a little a bit snake-bitten lately, but Marc-Andre Fleury, you said he's 2-0 and in shootout so far this year he's good he tracks the puck he's athletic and he's got an incredible compete level when he's playing tough matchup he's one win away from becoming the third goalie in NHL history to reach 500 wins the Islanders skid hits 11 and they'll now have gone a month without a win this season